and welcome back on the Wednesday night edition and such a pleasure to bring to the air and we had a little bit of a uh, dis, dis, disconnect but it was all my fault but man a good friend and a great coach and a guy that coaches the Purple Wave of Christian Brothers High School Memphis Hey, coach Thomas McDaniel how you doing tonight on Wednesday I'm doing great Stork thanks for having me I uh I felt like you were on the a King, you know, whatever, King Air uh, a couple minutes ago with Gary Rankin, and then uh, you're fixing to fly Allegiance. So, um, and then I find out I get cut off. Uh, you know, so I don't really got Google Voice, and I mean, I'm still on landlines and whatnot, so I apologize. Hey, I appreciate you. Uh, uh, you know, and, and, and maybe some of the people don't know, all the veterans that are watching tonight, they know, but. Uh, uh, you you uh, you did you, you did start a little bit of your life under Coach Rankin, and I guess it was good to hear from uh, uh, one of your one of your great friends. Yeah, uh, he uh, he talked about pressure and pressure. <laughs> you know, bust pipes or you know make diamonds, and uh, I guess we know what pressure does for him. So um, you know, he ran out of fingers and he got him sized for his toes and whatnot, but. Uh, <laughs> Happy for him and Sandra and JT and the, their whole family. <laughs> and, and, you know, and you're the guy that always said that he needed a hobby. <laughs> oh, yeah, he talks about – well, he's not good at his hobbies. Uh, if you know anything about his mountain biking, he's had a couple crashes and uh, doesn't have doesn't have a lot of hobbies. I've had to try to talk to him, tell him it's a big old world out there, and uh, it's not just about football, but I don't, I'm not sure that he'll listen to me. I mean, but but you can hear it in his voice. I mean, he's at Boyd Buchanan, and, and I mean, he's like, well, we'll, we'll get worked out, you know. So I guess I guess it's been deer in the headlights for some of those kids. On, 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 on and you've been there though, but a great experience for them, and they probably need a little bit of it, Coach. I mean, we can all use a little rankingisms. I mean, you had a little bit of them in your early career, did you not? Yeah, I mean, probably. I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, I'm indebted to that man for, you know, forever because he he took a chance on me when I was super young. While I was listening to him, I was thinking about it's my 22nd year coaching, you know, my 16th year as a head coach. And, uh, man, I hope I'm not doing it with his when I'm his age. That's all I can say. So, he's, uh, he's bettered me there, ain't no doubt about it. So are you, are you mountain biking or, I mean, really, you're a dad. I mean, let's get right down to it. You got two girls, and you're just you're. I mean, if you're not focused on football, it's like I t- you take one hat off, and it's like you're focused on trying to take care of them and raise family. Am I not correct? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, you know, I don't get to do the dad stuff as much as I would like. But <clears throat> obviously, God, you know, blessed me with a, a beautiful wife that has been with me since the beginning and 21 of those 22 years she's been with me and understands it and uh, very uh, committed to it for me and so you know each year that our girls are 10 and 8 now each year as it gets as they get a little older it gets you know it gets a little more difficult you have some you know internal conflict but uh, at the end of the day that's my number one priority I, I, I feel like I do a decent job of balancing it I don't do great but um, you know I, I do have to Make sure that I'm doing everything in my power to give our, you know, our team the best opportunity to compete on Friday nights. And I'm just blessed to work at such a great school. So, uh, the boys that, you know, that uh, I, I'm honored to be uh, coaching every day, do everything they can, and I got to do the same. Well, you know what? And they're going to find out one day. Being a parent is not an easy job. It is a tough job, and and you know, I continue to learn. I've got Spencer, and you know, she works down at Jeff Ruby's, and. It is, you know, it's still tough. I mean, you're still, you're teaching and learning and you're learning from them and they're learning from you. And it's, it's, a, it's a huge process, but let's talk a little purple wave football. Uh, coach, you've, uh, you, you had your, you had your, you know, you, you, you two a days, you've had a few scrimmages and, uh, now you got an away game against coach Robinson. Uh, what are we going to look like? I mean, what's this team going to look like, uh, uh, as, as you head into Friday night? Yeah, I mean, you know, we're gonna look a lot different. Obviously, we you know we lost Dallin Hayden, who mm-hmm. uh, you know is right now running as the third tailback at Ohio State. So losing somebody of that caliber is is huge. We lost our quarterback in Ashton Strother, who's in college now, and uh, you know we lost some good offensive lineman Patrick Kudis, 
is in the uh, two deep at Arkansas. So, you know, it's a new crop of kids for us. Really excited about our quarterback, Jack McLaughlin. Uh, he's had a great fall camp. And, uh, you know, we're probably going to be a little more balanced than traditionally. Uh, but but at the end of the day, again, as I've gotten older and hopefully gotten wiser, I've, you know, figured out it's uh, about players, not plays. And you got to, you know, you got to do what suits your your personnel best and our quarterback really makes us go so you know we're going to be a little different but uh coach crawford's got a year under his belt and you know we look a little different on defense but i think we're doing what's best for our personnel so uh you know i'm excited it's going to be a big challenge saturday night we play kind of the only game in town and um you know it's going to be a used to be a huge rivalry it was a great game last year and uh you know I'm, i expect no different this year well, and uh, I mean, uh, I, you say that and everything, and, and, and you know, you, you talk about uh, the the the, the uh, elder uh, elder coach there helping and moving some things around on the chessboard and everything. And you know, there's buy-in and everything of the kids. But you're right, the personnel you have, you know, no matter what, you can say I want to line them up and run this or I want to run that. But if you don't have the right guys, no matter what. Maybe Coach Crawford saw something, and, you know, like you say, it, if it works, let's run it, let's do it, because it, it's about winning football games, and, you know, it's about putting kids in position so that they make plays on Friday night. Absolutely, and, and uh, again, you know, we're still going to be what we are on offense, but, you know, it's just going to look a little different. So, uh, again, I'm, I'm really excited to see Jack uh, kind of continue to evolve and, He's got a ton of potential, 6'3", 200 pounds, high academic, uh, super smart, very cool and collected. And uh, like I said, he's had a, a heck of a fall camp. And, you know, we, we've got plenty – got four guys working at tailback that we all like. All of them have different skill sets. But uh, it'll – this is a marathon, it's not a sprint. And, uh, you know, we, we, we still need a lot of live game reps to kind of figure out. I, I, I know that, again, the more I've – the longer I've done this, it, it, it takes time. You know, we, we went through some peaks and valleys last year and then kind of hit our stride late in the season and then made a pretty good run, you know, uh, going to Knoxville Catholic and beating them and then upsetting Briarcrest in the quarterfinals. So, um, you know, it's a marathon. And, uh, you know, obviously you want to win the opener. And, again, it's a rivalry game, but it's fun to play in these games. And uh, hopefully our kids understand how uh, how blessed they are, the time and commitment they put into it uh, We'll go out and uh, hopefully uh, taste the fruits of our labor. Well, and you know, uh, uh, you know, Coach, uh, I, I lost my noodle there as you was talking. Coach Creasy talked about, you know, he had four or five or he's going to try to run. And, you know, I've noticed with him, you know, he, he doesn't have a set three or whatever. It's, it's you know, well, I'll try this one and maybe I'll rob this one or whatever. See who's got a odd hand or see who sees the vision that night or whatever. Doesn't really make a difference, does it, Coach? You're just, you know – I'll give it to whoever. I mean, if you feel it tonight or whatever, let's go with it. You know, it. it, it, it but it, it is about being able to be into the flow of the game and feeling it, uh, and people don't really understand that. Yeah, and I think, too, like, like, like I said, you know, with us being more balanced and having so many different guys, we have a couple of receivers. Jackson Hammond's committed to Army, and we've had really good fall camp with Ryan Hall, big tall receiver for us that's played. Uh, some last year and really coming into his own with Whit Collard, Michael Spain, and Boston Barker. Um, all those guys, I think everybody knows that it's kind of a, you know, it's a mutual contribution where mm-hmm. it was real It was real simple in the past, like you just give it to one mm-hmm. and let it work itself out. So uh, I think it probably created even better buy-in and continuity as far as just getting everybody on the same page. And, I mean, I'm probably as much to blame as anybody as far as that because at the end of the day, if Things don't go well. Just give it to Dallas. So, yeah. um, you know, again, it it's uh, it's helped us evolve, and uh, I've enjoyed it. And, and uh, you know, it's gonna be a lot of fun. Well, and sometimes you let a guy get out there, and he may make a mistake, but the next time he may bust one, and he may really understand where he was supposed to be or whatever. That's yet to be seen. But uh, special teams, you okay? You gonna be okay with special teams? Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard because uh, you know we scrimmaged Henry County, and then Houston High School, and um, you know limited reps in special teams. But uh, feel really good about our kicker Henry Hurdle. Okay, uh, excited about punter. We got a really uh, strong leg in our senior punter. So uh, again, you know we're going to have some hiccups along the way. We got some 
uh, Jackson Hammond and uh, along with other guys in the return game. But, um, you know, we spend a lot of time on the special teams. As you know, it's vital. And uh, a lot of plays can be stolen within the game on the special teams if it's practice and game planned. And, you know, we do that. So, uh, hopefully it ends up being a favorable for us uh, long term. But, yeah, we got uh, some, you know, some really strong uh, potential there in the kicking game. All your practices been going well. If, he, if many people don't know, Coach McDaniel runs a very systematic practice. It's about getting certain things done. Everything been going well with that? Yeah, man. We've got great culture within the locker room. Uh, great, you know, great coaching staff right now. A lot of positive energy. Again, at the end of the day, it's about the kids. We've got unselfish kids. You, you can't ask for a better group. And, uh, I mean, I've told them multiple times. I've told our parents, I mean, I'm, I'm blessed to be at a place. Uh, like this, 150 years old, and, and uh, it's just the expectation. The kids uh, reach it every day, and, and uh, it just it makes it easy to go to work. Coach, we can't thank you enough. It's always a pleasure to talk to you. Good luck in your contest against Germantown, and we'll talk to you next week on Inside the Headset. All right, brother. Good to talk to you. Thank you, Coach. We'll talk soon. Yes, sir. Bye-bye.